Hi, today we are going to learn how to control your site menus by the user role and type. Site Access Restriction Plugin is a powerful membership and content restriction solution. The content restriction is based on user WordPress roles and if they are logged in or not. Choose which post type, category or even specific page should be logged and to whom. In this use case video we will consider how to control the visibility of menu items for different user roles on your WordPress site. It means that different types of users can see different items in the same menu. Let's consider more detailed how menu restriction works on the example of the site with online courses. Here are the menu items and how we are going to separate them for different users. About courses. Main page with the general information about courses. Can be visible for all users. Contacts. Page with site contacts. Can be visible for all users. My profile. Page with the general information about user's profile. Can be visible for all logged in users. My courses. The dashboard for users where they can manage their courses. Can be visible only for logged in users with the user role student. Exit. This is a button to log out and it can be visible for all logged in users. Login. This is a button to log in or register. Can be visible for logged out users only. Now let's consider more detailed how to configure the visibility of these menu items. To reach the menu settings, navigate to Appearance – Menus. The page for configuring menus is separated into two parts. On the left part of the page you can see the list of items that you can add to the menu. On the right part of the page is located the menu itself. It contains the menu items that we've prepared in advance, so let's start configuring them. The plugin site access restriction provides a few new options for configuring. Let's expand the first menu item, about courses. Each menu item has a drop-down visible for. You can choose between everyone, logged in users or logged out users. As we said before, we are going to make this menu item visible for everyone, so we choose the option everyone. Next menu item is contacts and it also should be visible for all kind of users, so we do the same here. Next menu item is My Profile. It should be visible for all logged in users, so they could see and edit general information about their profiles. When we switch the visibility for logged in users, two new options appear – All roles and Specific roles only. In this case we need to choose All roles. Next menu item is My Courses. For the convenience, we made this menu item as sub-item for My Profile menu item. This page allows users that are registered as students to manage their courses, so it should be visible for that user role only. In the drop-down Visible for, we choose Logged in users, then choose Specific roles only. There will appear the list of existing user roles on your site. We choose only one role here – Student. One more menu item that we have – Login. This button opens the form that allows users to log in or register. When the user logs in, the button Login will turn to log out, but we don't want this menu item to be displayed separately in the menu, so we will make this button visible for guest users only. To do that, we choose Logged out users in the drop-down Visible for. But anyway, we need to display the button that allows users to log out. We will do the following. We need to add the menu item with the type Custom Links. Call this item Exit and add it as sub-item under the Profile menu item. Menu items with the Custom Links type have one more feature – make a logout URL. If enabled, it will be visible for all logged in users only and this button allows them to log out. The configuration is finished, now click the button Save menu. Here is the visibility structure that we've made. About courses and contacts are visible for all users. My profile and exit are visible for all logged in users. My courses is visible only for logged in users with the user role student. Login is visible for logged out users only. Now let's check it on the front end. First case, what the logged out user or guest sees in the menu. Second case, what the regular logged in user sees in the menu. Third case, what the logged in user with the user role student sees in the menu. 
Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to control the visibility of menu items for different user roles on your WordPress site. Thanks for watching the video.